Welcome to Fuel by Intentions, where we talk about faith, family, finances, fitness, and fun. Sponsored by Bynum's Business Solutions, where the right fit is made simple. We specialize in tips, tools, and strategies designed to help you achieve your financial health so that you can take control of how you spend your money so that you can spend more time with your family, friends, and doing the things you love. So let's jump right into the video. Thank you for joining us today. And if you're new to the channel, then welcome to the family. In today's video, we'll be talking to Ann Hill of Elliot Soul. She will be sharing her weight loss journey to losing 95 pounds. Thank you, Ann. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm very happy to be here. And thank you for mentioning Elegant Soul. Elegant Soul is a product that I sell and it's about self-care and items in the world that can help you improve your way of life. And so I'm happy to be here. Um, I'm happy to be talking about my 95, 95 pounds lost. Wow, thank you. Does Elegant Soul have a website? Yes, it does. Elegant Soul's website is um, www elegantsoul.us. Well, let's get right into your weight loss journey. When did your weight struggles begin? I can remember being a um, big girl back when I was in high school. I, I wasn't, you know, teased or anything like that. I just know that I was big. I was in the 200 somewhere and I, my dad's side of the family is big. So that's what I can remember. I do remember noticing that I was overweight a little bit more when I became an adult. Okay, and what has been your highest weight? My highest weight that I've hit is about 340 pounds, um, somewhere after having a few kids. And what was your weight when you started this particular weight journey? Well, my weight that I started back in um, May of 2020 was 325 pounds, 0.8. Okay, and what are you now? I am currently 230 pounds. What was your motivation to begin this weight loss journey? My motivation to begin this weight loss journey, basically I've been yo-yo dieting since forever. You know, being on one diet and being on another diet and losing the weight and then gaining the weight back and losing the weight then gaining the weight back and when the pandemic hit, I gained my COVID 20, 25, 30, and something hit me back in May of 2020 that said you needed to get your health together. Um, at 325.8 pounds, it was time to start doing something. And so that kind of pushed me into trying to live a healthy lifestyle. I, I wanted to be able to get on the rides with my kids when we go to the amusement parks, I wanted to go up a flight of stairs without breathing so hard. And so those kind of things helped push me and motivated me to get on this journey. Well, why don't you share with us how you lost the weight? Well, back in 2020, um, I was online. I did a lot of research to try to find, you know, the easy way out. And so I found, you know, weight loss is a mental thing. There's a pill out there that helps with mental trying to get your mental together to stop you from eating so much. But I probably, I bought the pills, but I only took them for like a couple weeks. But then one of our good friends introduced me to this book called Atomic Habits. I have the book and I also have the workbook here. And so in the book, it talks about changing your habits. And I really like the book because the book starts off with this Olympic team that was losing. And what they had to do was they had to change their habits. If you change the habit by one degree one day and another degree the next day, when you get further down the line, you're going to reach your goal because you've changed your habits little by little by little. So in the book, there was a team, and I wanna believe it was a biking racing team, and they ended up changing their habits. What they decided was that if a bike was clean, it would go faster during the race. So they would put the bikes in a white room and make sure no dust got onto the bikes. And they decided that if everyone got a good night's sleep, 
that they would be better racers the next day. So they basically changed their degrees one by one by one. So with me reading the book, I decided what can I change degree by degree by degree to get to where I wanted to be, which was weight loss. And so I chose to, first I chose to figure out, you know, my sleeping. Sleep helps with losing weight. So I bought a $1,500 mattress and that $15 mattress got me, has me sleeping a little bit better. Then I decided, hey, drink your water. So I get my water in. So I started drinking my water intake every day. And that was another degree. Another thing I started doing was get a little exercise. So I started walking around the block. One time, just once around the block, I probably did that for almost two months um, until one of the older couples in the neighborhood that walked every day too said, how many times do you go around? And I was like, one. And then I, was, I felt a little bad, so I had to increase. <laughs> um, so, and then I also started using my fitness pile, which is a app um, online that actually tells you how many calories you should intake um, every day. And when you take in those calories, it, you should lose weight. So I kind of did that where it told me I should have 1600 calories a day and I monitored my food. How much water do you drink? I drink at least 64 ounces of water. Um, I do not drink anything else unless I get pure water in 64 ounces. How many times did you increase going around the block? Wow, I increased to just a little bit over a mile. At, actually, currently I go a little bit further because we have a mountain. I used to just go around the neighborhood one block, but now we have a mountain and I do actually go up the mountain like a hike every morning and I go to the gym because I've increased a lot so but it's been months we're talking about 17 months to get to the point where now I'm doing the hike and I also go to the gym and do an elliptical and weights how long do you stay at the gym and how often do you go I go to the gym at least four to five days out of the week I start off with a 30 minute cardio on any machine that I choose to be on and then I usually choose an upper or lower body weights to work focus on that day. And I do probably about 20 minutes of uh, weights. And also you mentioned my fitness pal. How many calories do you intake and has your calories been consistent since your weight loss journey began? Well, I took in at that time frame, I took in about 1600 calories a day and I was very consistent. I wanted, when I started this journey, I didn't want something that I couldn't maintain because that's the way, reason why we yo-yo because we can't maintain what we're doing. I wanted to live a life where I'm okay with having a burger once in a while or having ice cream or having a drink. I actually enjoy drinking once in a while. And so I chose to not, to, to change my mindset on how I'm losing weight and to be okay with gaining a pound or two one week if I do go off program and to jump back on it the next week or the next day, depending on it. Because you have to pick something that is doable for your life or you will continue yo-yoing. And you know, in the past I've done cabbage diets, I've done other types of diets and you always gain it back because you can't live on cabbage alone. <laughs> so. I have also, I chose to pick something that was livable and doable. So right now, currently, I do not count calories. Um, I kind of stay within the realm of, I know what type of foods I use. I've actually joined uh, Weight Watchers, but you don't actually count calories with them, you count points. But, um, so I don't know how many calories I'm eating now, but I try to stay within the, the program of eating healthier and choosing healthy foods. So I know that Weight Watchers has different types of plans that you can be on. Which plan did you choose? I am currently on, I believe it's the blue plan. They have different plans that gives you free foods. And so when you choose the higher plan, which I believe is purple, you only get fruits and vegetables or free foods, zero points. If you choose like the blue plan, they give you like some proteins and some, you know, that are free zero points too. And you can eat as much as you want of that. That's why I say I don't count points because if I get hungry at night, 
on Weight Watchers, I can still go eat a banana. I can still go eat some chicken breast because I'm on the blue plan, which makes it where I can eat those other extra foods. Now, are you on Weight Watchers in person? Or are you on Weight Watchers online? Or how do you do the weekly weigh-in? I do mine online. Um, I can go into the studio, but since there is a pandemic and it's easy to go just online, they have a, a class every, almost every hour that you can join at any time of the day. And so I kind of do my, I do mine online. Okay, and then you just document your weight online as to what you are? Yes, but I'm not really consistent with documenting because I don't, right now it's my maintain. I told myself during the holidays, just maintain because I do want to be able to eat. I want to have a piece of pie or cake or whatever we're cooking with my family. And so I chose like during the holidays to just maintain until January 1st. And then January 1st, I'm going to jumpstart my weight loss with the church and do a fast. During your weight loss journey, how often have you weighed yourself and are you currently weighing yourself? So during my journey, I actually weigh myself almost every day, actually. I'm an everyday weigher. You have to be bit, you have to have a very good mental to wear your weigh yourself every day because of the reason that your body fluctuates. It can fluctuate from sodium. It can fluctuate just because we're women and we're going through different women mental pauses and all that other stuff, and water intake and you know, it's it's a whole bunch of different factors. So when you weigh yourself every day, you have to know that you may go up, you may go down. It's you know I do not record my weight every day. I kind of record it on a weekly basis because in a week you should lose, you know, but I kind of know my body and everybody should get to know their body because that's a good thing to know is how your body loses. Cause I know for me, my body will drop three or four pounds and then it goes into this having to stabilize. And it takes about four or five days of just stabilization where it's just going fluctuating and then it stabilizes and then it'll drop three or four pounds again. So it's just knowing your body and how your body loses. You mentioned relaxing your standards during the holidays. So are you currently weighing? Currently, when I go out for the holidays, you know, I will eat and then I'll jump back on program the next day. But I will weigh myself like maybe two or three days after I've jumped back on program. Because when I drink alcohol and I eat salty foods, I already know that I'm gonna gain a little weight those days. And so if I try to jump back and have maintain, you know, get back on program for the next two or three days, I can pretty much guarantee myself that I will be back at my steady weight and haven't gained anything. Okay, so what I hear you saying in that is sometimes you just have a little flexibility with your program, you're not as strict, so that you can enjoy life with family and friends. Definitely, definitely. I wanted a program that will allow me to enjoy life. I wanted something that is doable. I would say that if you're going to try to lose weight and you wanna keep it off for the rest of your life, you need to find something that is doable for you, something that you can maintain. And so me eating healthy, I would say 90% of my time and giving myself the freedom to go ahead and enjoy life with my family and friends is what I chose with doing either the my fitness pal or weight watchers both of them are doable for that so when did you transition from my fitness pal to weight watchers and what how much did you lose before the transition so how much did you lose on my fitness pal before you transitioned to weight watchers um, they're probably exactly probably equal. I want to say that I've lost 50 pounds doing the My Fitness Pal, and then I jumped on to Weight Watchers in February of 2021 after my birthday. And and the only reason why I jump on there, and I think probably everybody needs to try to. I don't know if everybody's like this, but for me, I get bored of trying to follow a program, and so. My Fitness Pal and Weight Watchers are probably almost exactly the same, but it's almost like you're just changing your program and changing your mindset to get yourself a little bit more excited about losing weight. Did you have any non-scale victories? Yes, I did. I had some great non-scale victories. 
um, my, my one number one was the airplane ride. When I got on the airplane this past September, normally I have to pull the seatbelt thing out to the end, but this time I got to put it on and tighten it a lot. So that was one of my scale victories. And another one is shopping on Fashion Nova. Um, back in May of 2020, I was buying a 3X. Now um, Fashion Nova sizes go 3X, 2X, 1X, and then an extra large. Now I can fit into an extra large. So I'm very excited. Have you had any setbacks? I don't really call them setbacks because I just feel like life happens and you, you know, you eat. And there's been times where I wanted to lose a certain amount in the month and I didn't lose that amount, but I know why I didn't lose that amount. And that's one thing about me weighing myself on a daily is that I know that my body gains from certain activities. And so, you know, there's months where I did not lose, but I maintained. And so even though I jumped in the month saying, I'm going to lose 10 pounds this month, realistically, if you're going out to eat and going and hanging out and drinking, you're not going to lose 10 pounds. So you really have to evaluate what you're doing that month. And so I would consider those maybe setbacks, but I actually consider that life. Because in life, we're going to have activities and this and that. We just need to be realistic about what we're really going to lose. And so right now, I'm currently planning not to do anything in the month of January, so I will lose. There will be no going out for me. What is your goal weight? When do you plan to stop trying to lose weight and get into the maintenance phase? So I don't actually have a goal weight. Um, I believe that my goal is something that is when I look in the mirror that I like what I see. I just want to be able to ride on a horse. They have weight requirements for that. I want to be able to zip line. There's a weight requirement for that. And so basically I just want to look in the mirror and like what I see. Weight loss is a very personal thing and people should recognize that. You shouldn't do it for someone else, you should do it for yourself. And so when you look in the mirror, you should just see something that you like and it's about self-love and self-care. And so that is my goal. Awesome. Have you incorporated any celebrations? Like after you lose 10 pounds, do you celebrate in one way or another? Or what have you done just to keep that motivation up? Wow, that's a good question. I don't think this time I gave myself any type of rewards for losing weight. I think that I decided that the reward was in the end, you're going to be smaller. And so I've always never stuck to those because I would say, I'm not going to, you know, I'll get to go take myself to get my nails done after I lose 10 pounds. I'll take myself to get the nails done at the five pounds. So you just have to know who you are in order to do that. But I am planning on if I do get down to um, just a little bit smaller, uh, good solid size, large or something like that, I will reward myself with a new wardrobe. Do you have any final thoughts? My final thoughts would be for everyone to just realize that if this is personal, and that you need to pick something that's doable for you, something that you can live with, um, something that you can maintain for the rest of your life, especially if you plan on getting this off and keeping it off. So I would just say, do some soul searching, realize that this is a mental game. It is very mental to lose weight. You actually have to learn to say no to certain foods. You have to learn not to put those foods in your pathway. You have to learn to avoid the people in your household that want to bring in cookies every day. So just concentrate on your mental. If you have to get a book, read a book on that. And remember that this is about loving yourself. We cannot love others until we love ourselves. Thank you, Ann. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your weight loss journey. 95 pounds, we are so proud of you. We support you in your journey. We'll continue to pray for your success. Thank you. If you want any of the items that we talked about in this video, such as the book, Atomic Habits, please 
check the description box below. Thank you for joining us. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.